G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel, I'm Josh. In this video, we're going to look at how to do short division. So let's have a look at an example. We start with 1,638, and we're going to divide this by six. So the way we do this is we set this up as follows. We have 1,638, and around that we put this here where we're dividing by six. And we're gonna get our answer up the top here as we work our way from left to right. So let's do this. So starting at the left here, we have six. How many times does it go into? Well, it's not gonna go into one, so how many times does it go into 16? Six goes into 16 two times. Two times six is equal to 12. So we put the two up there. Now what we do is we take that 12 away from 16. So if we take 12 from 16, we have four difference there. We put that right there, and now we move across to the next part, where we have how many times does six go into this entire amount into 43? How many times does six go into 43? It goes in seven times. Seven sixes are 42. So how many left over? 42 take away from 43 is equal to one. So we carry that now to the next number. Finally, we have how many times does six go into 18? Six goes into 18 three times. So we put that up there. We have zero remainder, therefore we have our answer. 1,638 divided by six is equal to 273. So we didn't have to do all this working out down here that you get with long division, but you do have to carry a few things in your head as you go. So what about we have a look at another example? So next, let's have a look at 3,272 divided by eight. What about you pause the video and give this one a go, and then come back and see how you went? Well, let's have a look at the answer. We have 3,272, and we're dividing this all by eight. So let's solve this now, moving left to right once again. We're gonna start by seeing how many times eight goes into 32, because eight doesn't go into three, we'll just move straight to the 32. How many times does eight go into 32? It goes in four times, and there is zero remainder, so there's nothing to move across to the next number. Now we're gonna have a look at how many times eight goes into seven. Well, it doesn't, because let's face it, eight is bigger than seven, so it goes in zero times. Now make sure you put that zero times in there, it's part of your answer. But we're gonna move this seven across to the next number here, to the two. Finally, we have how many times does eight go into 72? Eight goes into 72 nine times. Nine eighths of 72. All right, nothing left over. We have our answer, 3,272 divided by eight equals 409. How'd you go that one, pretty well? Well, we'll look at one last example where we get remainders and what we can do with those. Now, let's have a look at our next example. We have 2,000. 565, and we're going to divide this by four. Now we're gonna set this up exactly like we did the other ones. We have 2,565, and we put this around it, dividing by four. And once again, moving left to right. So let's start with how many times does four go into 25? Well, six times four is equal to 24. It goes in six times. 24 taken away, from 25 is equal to one. We have one left over, we put that right there. So now we have, how many times does four go into 16? Well, four times four is equal to 16, so it goes in four times, and there is zero remainder. So there's nothing to carry across to the next part. So now we have, how many times does four go into five? Four goes into five one times, one times four is four, and we have this remainder of one. So what do we do with this? Well, there's three possibilities what you may do with this. The most simple one that you may be asked sometimes to do is just give a remainder. A remainder of one, that's all that's left over. We have our answer 641 with a remainder of one. But, you know, you can take this a bit further and make it a bit more accurate. So the, what we could also do is we could get the one that we have left over and we divide it by this number here. So we're gonna put it over four. This is also a pretty acceptable answer we have our answer of 641 and a quarter. There is a third alternative that we can do, which we're gonna have a look at right now, where we're going to take it out to the decimal. So the way we do this is as follows. I'm gonna put a decimal place there, and I'm gonna put a zero there to carry along. Now I'm gonna tell you this has two decimal places, so I'm actually gonna put two zeros there. You can put as many zeros there as you like or need. 
And what we also do is we extend our working out just here as well. The other thing we do is we're also going to put the decimal directly above right now because we're moving into decimal territory. So what we had before is we had this remainder of one. That was four went into five. That was one time with a remainder of one. So that one goes right here. So now we can go through and see how many times does four go into 10. Four goes into 10 two times. Okay, two times four is equal to eight. We have two remainder. We put that right there. So finally we have how many times does four go into 20? Well, four goes into 20 five times. And there you have it. There's no remainder. We can't carry this decimal along anymore. We have the final part of our answer. 2,565 divided by four is equal to 641 and a quarter or 641.25. It's the same amount. Anyway, that is how you go through and you use short division to do division. It's pretty simple, right? If you like this video, please remember, hit the like button and subscribe. And if you really wish to support the Tech Math channel, please consider becoming a patron. A big shout out to my patrons. Your support is always appreciated. There is a link in the description below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.